Okay, so we're doing a short one today because of uh, Spotify. Shout out to Spotify. We need to do a 20 minute one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, um, we do. We do. We are a short 20 minute one. That's true. Um, so uh, you guys are 14 seconds in and you haven't even started a conversation yet. No, oh, go on. Spin your wheel. Spin your wheel. Go on. Oh, fuck. We can yeah. listen we to you are, this time. We have the wheel. We have oh, the wheel. Shit. We have it. Okay. Right. right, I'm spinning it. Spinning it, it's spinning, spinning, it, spinning, spinning it, spinning it. Um, the film we're going to talk about today is... Is probably, probably good. Mm. At least IMDb assured us that they are good. Gran Torino. Gran Torino. Clint Eastwood. It, he's in that. He uh, directed it and wrote it, I think. He does a lot of that recently. He does I a think lot he's of, always done that a lot of that recently. He's done all of it. Well, okay, yeah, mate, probably. Whenever I think of him, I either think of Gran Torino, a giant gap, and then... Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo, yeah. <laughs> the PlayStation 1 hit. <laughs> no, uh, the Man with No Name trilogy, you know. Yes. Fistful of Dollars. Spaghetti Westerns. Spaghetti. Because they were all filmed in Italy. Somebody touch my spaghetti! <laughs> <laughs> Out of fucking nowhere. All right, fine. Thank you. Um, uh, currently, action. It is an action film. I haven't seen it. Oh, okay. It's about an old man who really likes his car and really likes his racism. <laughs> really? And then he learns not to love his racism, but to still love his car. And that's the American dream. That is the American dream. <laughs> Single tear. <laughs> um, Geraldine Hughes, John Carroll Lynch. It's it's a pretty blasé um, Cast his son. lineup. Cast his son. Cast his son. Scott Eastwood. He did cast his son, yeah. Although that he that doesn't he doesn't play his son in it. Well, it'd be difficult for Clint Eastwood to play his own son. <laughs> Technology. I mean, yeah, but it's no. Possible. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Yes, anyway, it is. Um, he casts his own son. Yeah, he lives in a neighbourhood. Of course, uh, there are. I think the Vietnamese family that live there they get bullied or getting harassed, and at, at the start he's all like America and doesn't give a shit, and then he's yeah. like. America and does get <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, and he realised that America should be a bit more inclusive. Wow! And then we all hug. I and think. then we all hug. Right, and then he take, he takes on the Vietnamese kid as like a an apprentice sort of thing. What a race car driver or car- no, carpenter? No, yeah, more like just like mechanic in like just helping him out, like father son stuff. I don't think the Vietnamese kid has a father. can't relate. Can't relate. No, neither of us. Neither of us can relate to father son stuff. Okay, what if this was a no? What if this was a... What if this was a, a dramatic film? Oh, really? That's a great choice. Yeah, I thought so. What if it was a science fiction film? Yeah. Whoa, okay. Wow, okay. science Straight fiction. Straight away, right. we've got a car. Laser beams. Laser beams, yeah. Laser beams. Muse soundtrack. Muse soundtrack. No, actually, not Muse. Just Matt Bellamy. Just Matt Bellamy. Does the soundtrack. Yeah. Directed by... Bjork. <laughs> Okay, he's already unwatchable. <laughs> um, no, directed by Ridley Scott. Okay, Ridley Diddley. I like it. Really, <laughs> really? I like it. We have, right, we have a car as one of the main features of this. Yes, the DeLorean. Thank you. Exactly where I was going. It has to be, doesn't it? It has to be the DeLorean uh, as a kind of reference. 64 megawatts or whatever the fuck it says. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know that film. I don't like Back to the Future. I'm going to get oh, so you're gonna much get sick. I just think it's a so-so film and it's overplayed. So there, <laughs> eat shit, everyone. I, I nice be... helping a shit for you. <laughs> <laughs> it is ten forty three at night. That's... We've tried to record this, yeah. oh, countless times times now, countless times. We had audio problems, and yeah, Jared had technical not... problems with with his brain. My brain did malfunction. Um. Uh, okay, science fiction. We've got Clint Eastwood, Vietnamese family. We've got a DeLorean. <laughs> what the fuck is happening in this yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we'd have to... We have to overcome adversity. That's the thing. So rather than, I guess, country, it's galactic adversity. Whoa. Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> aliens. 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 Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, what kind of aliens? What are we looking at? Are we looking at alien... Racist like... aliens. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm thinking more along the lines of... Um, yeah. Are we going for like District oh. Nine aliens? Oh, okay. Are we going for like cockroachy ones or like the, those greys? What are, they? are they called greys? Yeah, they're called greys. Or we can go for like a rival, that kind of. Oh, I think they esoteric like, aliens. For us to understand it and the relationship and the adversity, they have to be somewhat 
I just like to throw in a note: if you, if for the ones out there who've seen Arrival and didn't enjoy it, don't watch it thinking you're watching an Alien film. Watch it thinking it's a, a film about communication. Okay, so you've got Arrival is a communication film. You've got Whiplash is a sports movie. It is a sports movie. Whatever next? Hey, you and I came up with Arrival being a communication movie. Yeah, but is that? It's not really a thing, though, is it? But yeah, it's not about aliens. It's not about aliens. It's about, it's about language. Yeah, it's about, it's about talking to each other and feeling your emotions. It's about communication. Yeah. Dad? Dad. <laughs> Papa? <laughs> um, okay, what's happening in this film? Sorry. We've lost track here. Uh, the got DeLorean got crushes the press because <laughs> of the press invasion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all about the power of American engineering. Is that where we're going? <laughs> yeah. Christ. Yeah. Okay, this has got, this so. has got worse on that. <laughs> okay, so what, they fly to the... No. <laughs> yeah, we, we, <laughs> so, yeah, we can... We're gonna stop you there because we don't know what you're gonna I say. Stop myself. Next. I'm quite impressed. What are we? Um, who are we casting? Uh, oh, as Clint, we, Clint, we, we, <laughs> Clint Westwood. Clint Westwood. Um, we need uh, a grouchy person. Um, Aunt Kathy Bates. Aunt Kathy Bates. <laughs> Tom, can I have Kathy Bates, please? <laughs> oh, please, Mum. <laughs> We've got Kathy Bates at home. <laughs> Shows Helen Mirren. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! This is, this is just... Kathy Bates, right? Listen, you can now see why Sandra Bullock said this show was barely watchable because <laughs> it's just yeah, but we don't rate her anyway. Well, it's true. What have you done since Speed? Mr. Yeah. Geniality, Gravity, Fuck off. go away. <laughs> gravity, lose it, <laughs> lose that, lose the gravity. Um, Kathy Bates owns a DeLorean. She has the power to move through time. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you just... What well, you recasted Back to the Future? <laughs> You've just taken the DeLorean and thought, oh, DeLoreans are time travel mobiles. Of course. Like, of course. No, this film needs to be about the, the actual story of Gran Torino, which is... Oh, that he doesn't... Right. He like, okay, he's, his neighbour, his Vietnamese neighbour, tries to steal his Gran Torino. His vehicle, his DeLorean. So, so, we need someone, we need the neighbour of a... Di- it has to be like a different alien race or something. Okay. Trying to steal Kathy Bates' DeLorean. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this is so I'm bizarre. Enjoying this. Yeah, this is Who good. is trying to steal Kathy Bates' DeLorean? Maybe is they don't... Oh, okay. Don't you dare <laughs> say Rebel Wilson! Rebel Wilson. Fuck! <laughs> we do not cast Rebel Wilson, <laughs> Tom. But she's waiting in the audition room. I just wish she could stay there. <laughs> um, they don't need to appear like themselves. They can be in costume, or they can be CGI. We at least need a voice to this thing that's trying to steal the DeLorean. Right, and the reason they're trying to steal the DeLorean is to, uh, you know, climb the social... Got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, go on. I... No, wait, no, it's not sci-fi. I, was, I knew the actor I was going to cast, yeah. but it's not sci-fi. Oh. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Uh... Gone forever. Don't know. He's the guy that dies. He plays Han in Tokyo Drift. Oh, Christ. I don't know that. Yeah. He's good, though. He's a really good actor. I like him. We're stealing the soundtrack, but making it... What? One, if you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Right, so we're going to use the song Fast and Furious <laughs> in the film... What are we calling this? Because it can't be called Gran Torino anymore. Okay. Um, Gran Torino. Yes. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Grant to yes. That easy. Grant to yes. Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates and... Um, Owns a DeLorean that uh, travels through time. Go fuck yourself. Oh, uh, okay. It's being stolen by an alien with the voice of... James L. Jones. James L. Jones. Great choice. Yeah. Great choice. Thanks. M- meant to be a teenager, but great choice. Who says an alien doesn't have a voice like that? Um, it's true. Uh, okay. The, uh, James Earl Jones steals Kathy Bates' DeLorean um, to climb the social ladder amongst his own kind. Didn't work. Didn't work. Kathy Bates, Bates found takes out. Him in, takes him in. Sees this troubled... Yeah. yeah. I was going to say young alien. He damaged, he damaged the car while yeah. doing it. Did he? And, he's, and, she, and she's like, you're going to pay for those damages. You're going to work for me oh, until fuck. you pay it off. Right. Well, they travel the universe... And then the Rick and Morty theme tune plays, and that's the end of the film. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Okay, spin that fucking wheel. Sold. Okay, that was an easy one. <laughs> um, next up, it's gonna be the film is oh, 
Oh, it's a big one. Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. That's a massive that is a big film. Let's massive. pray it lands on something fucking funny because it ca- it ties into comedy. Yeah. It ties into sci-fi and it ties into romance. It's eliminate and action. It's eliminated most of our fucking wheel. So it's landed on thriller. Perfect. Okay. So we just make it a bit more thrilling. Okay. Well, we get rid of Chris Pratt straight away. Star Get rid of Dave Bautista. Yeah. Uh, uh, right. We changed. I want Taika Waititi to direct it. Okay. So I don't want James Gunn to direct it. Okay. Uh, not Wait, really. Taika Waititi though is good choice for Marvel. Is he a good choice for Thriller? I think we need Shyamalan. That's a good call. I think we need a Shyamalan twist. Fuck. Okay. All right. Fine. Yeah. What it is. We'll we'll brainstorm that as it comes. We're never gonna get there. We will. <laughs> we have we have ten minutes <laughs> to come up with. A plot twist that generally goes down in history yeah. as the plot twist. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Chris Pratt, Star-Lord. Who's going to play him in the thriller version? So, thriller, what's the story? Okay, so the, the current story is Chris Pratt is a stolen from Earth by aliens. Raised as a bandit. Raised as a bandit. Stealing a jewel thing. The Tesseract? No, 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 it's the other one. One of the stones. One of the stones. Um, he gets caught, he goes to prison, Okay, makes the got team, it. team. Got it. Go on. Got it. Thriller. He is um, an orphan in New York. Okay. He's adopted yep. by uh, a family, loving okay. family. Still on Earth? Still on Earth. Everything is actually normal. There okay, are no, everything's on Earth. Everything's on Earth. Of course, not science fiction. Yeah, not so on Mars. Go. Um, they adopt him. Dad turns out to be a little bit fucking crooked. Okay. Yon- and Huh? Yondu? Yondu. Yondu, okay. So, Yondu, who the is this Yondu? Uh, oh, it's, it's already a great casting, isn't it? Uh, Michael Rooker. Um, so, someone a bit unhinged, but that could be quite fatherly. Woody Harrelson. Oh, yes, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Yes, Woody Harrelson. So, Woody Harrelson is his father, a little bit unhinged. Uh, wife dies. Okay. Fully unhinged. Start, turn into a life of crime. Yeah. Right? Nice. Uh, Poor little... Who do we cast? Star-Lord. We haven't cast anyone yet. Oh, okay. So poor little Star-Lord ends yep. up with, with a regular name. Greg. Greg. Poor little <laughs> Greg Lord. <laughs> Lord Greg. of the Gregs. Um, Sausage rolls and all. Huh? Sausage rolls and all. Okay. <laughs> the Bakery. This episode is sponsored by Greg's. The shitter version of Baker's Oven. Baker's Oven doesn't exist anymore. I know. They swallowed them. As in... <laughs> nice. Businickly. Business, <laughs> businessly, I didn't business, realize, economics. I didn't realize that Snoop Dogg had like <laughs> it influenced you so much as of late. Oh no, man, I'm just businessly minded. <laughs> we need to cut that. Um, <laughs> okay, so Greg Law, <laughs> just businessly minded. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Okay. Anyway, so uh, fully unhinged. Uh, Chris Pratt is either could either go two ways yep. however you want to play this I already Woody know Harrison, you want to play. Woody Harrison like um, gets involved with the wrong people and introduces his son to these wrong people and then eventually uh, that becomes the kind of dream team where yep. Chris Pratt doesn't even have to find them they find him yep. or Chris Pratt is left alone goes out into the world and because of all the shitty influences he's had and all the b- poor uh, events that happened to him he ends up making his own dream team okay okay and the thing they're stealing is uh, a fuck off big emerald that was recently found. Tasty. Yeah, okay. biggest in the world. Nice. Uh, it was a couple of years ago. It wasn't recent. Green. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, they are. Yeah, thank you. Uh, who are we casting? I think Greg Lord. Greg I sort of want to switch it up and put a lady. Stiller. Hmm. <laughs> no, I was, I was joking. No, I want him to be the voice of Oh, no, I guess there's not a voice for Groot, because Groot, we can't have a walking tree in this thriller, right? No, but you can have a tall, quiet guy. Tall, quiet guy. The guy from Adam's Family. Johnny Tightlips. Johnny <laughs> Tightlips from Adam's Family. You know, the tall fella. <laughs> yeah. Lurch. Lurch from Adam's Family. I think he should be... Do you know who that is? Lurch. Yeah, yeah he's Tightlip, played by Christopher Lloyd, who's in... Backer. No. <laughs> No. No, that's not Christopher Lloyd, you num num. That is the Uncle Fester. Oh, uh, Uncle Fester. Lurch is the tall guy that drives. Look, it's not my fault you love Back to the Future and you keep casting Back to the Future members inside films that don't need to be. Hang on. Hang on. 
<laughs> that film. Mic, the mic probably didn't pick that up. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I hate that film. Oh, I see. The mic definitely picked that up. Yeah, Back to the Future. Okay, no. I want I want Can't a female to play... Has Parkinson's. He tries to test <laughs> me. Christ. Moving on. <laughs> I want Greg Lord to be a woman. Okay. Mila Kunis. Right. Okay, yeah. fine. I think she could potentially have range. You know, a bit... <laughs> that's, a, that's a gamble. Potentially have range. Yeah, like, oh, I'm going to... Triple A blockbuster nice review. <laughs> the lead might... lady ha- potentially has range. The lead lady potentially has range. What if? Oh, you mate. Yeah, but what's it going to be called then? You haven't got Greg Lord no more. Uh, Gregoria Lord. No, we have Still to pick quite... some, I don't know what a lame female's name. Gertrude. Gertrude Lord. Gertlude. Gertlude? <laughs> what the fuck? Gert, are you on Lude? Uh, I don't Gert Lord. You, so you come up with <laughs> Biznickly and Gertlude. Look, I'm ahead of my time, okay? Literary will catch What up. time are you on? <laughs> um, Guardians of the Galaxy time. Okay. Well, well, okay. Gert Lord. Gert Lord. Is... Gert Lord played by Mila Kunis. Okay. With her abusive, crazy father. Uh, leaves. She finds a ragtag team of people. Who are they? Well, you need the big, strong one. The Drax the Destroyer. Still called Drax. But I not Dave Batista. I don't want to go across Vinnie Jones. No. Doesn't fit. No, not Vinnie Jones. Um, so I want someone unsuspecting. Someone has to bulk up for the role. Oh. <laughs> Rebel <laughs> Wilson. Wilson. Of course. <laughs> no. <She's> bulk up. <laughs> <laughs> there are no roles. No, there are no roles. There are no. Oh, she's, yeah. Yeah. Um, there probably are. Uh, are we? We are we putting Rebel Wilson? We no, we're not allowed. We're not allowed to, not allowed to cast. We're not allowed to cast, allowed to cast really contracts. Yeah. Um, Dame Judy Dench needs to bulk up for the role. <laughs> what is this film? <laughs> we're about to find out. Uh, no. Dame Who's Judy, next? No. 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 Um, Judy Dench. I would. I'm gonna go with. Edward Norton. Great. Love it. Absolutely Norton, love that. He's going he's gonna to rewrite the whole film. Oh, that. absolutely love that. Edward Norton. Edward Norton. And he's Drax the Destroyer. Yeah, he is Drax the Destroyer. Who's, who's the... Oh, no, we've got group. That's Lurch from the Adam's family. Really, uh, male love interest. The Gamora of this. The Gamora. So... Who is the tough. Gamora? Oh, I... I want to cast Tom Hardy. You want to cast Tom Hardy? Mm. I think he'd be better as, like, the Nebula type. Oh, yeah, cool. And... Oh, I actually want Gamora to say something about it, to be I'm, a social role. Model. I'm going to break a rule here. I'm oh. keeping Josh Brolin as Thanos. Or the Thanos type character, whoever yeah. that may be. Yeah, the kind of. Because he's amazing. Yeah, I mean, he is. He did nail it. And he nails, like, pretty much any film he's in, apart from Old Boy. We don't talk about that. No. No, no, we don't talk about that at all. <laughs> okay, so he remains. Okay, so wait, we need Groot. Who's Groot? Who's Tree? Groot, we, that's Lurch. That's the tall guy. Okay, We've got him. all right. Um, Rocket Raccoon. We need the pesky, you know, engineer. loudmouth engineer. Who though? Steve Buscemi. Uh, no. No? No. Because uh, he's not. What? I don't know who, I don't know. Um, how about... Oh, Jamie Foxx. Yeah. I'm yeah, Jamie, Jamie Foxx. Fox. Nice. And he's still got that sort of, you know, name. Yeah. Got Raccoon, got Fox. What rocket the raccoon? Yeah, and you're going. You're going. I'm going to select my actor off of his surname because that's how it does work, right? Yeah, yeah. They're all like yeah. They named the roles that they are named the roles that they are named the roles. Yeah. The plot. Did we finish the plot? What's the plot? Uh, Greg Lord is Gert Lord. <laughs> Gert Lude. <laughs> Gert Lude is um taken. Uh, oh no, she. Yeah, she. I'm gonna say she leaves. <laughs> skills. I told you every time you say taken, I'm gonna go straight Liam Neeson. Straight, as opposed to queer Liam Neeson. <laughs> queer Liam Neeson. Yeah. Okay. Um, A very particular set of skills. <laughs> <laughs> I just any chance to flex my Irish, you know. Yeah, I'm getting that now. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay. <laughs> Anyway, um, he uh, Gertlude leaves and then collects her team. Yep. They break into the, I don't know. National Museum. I don't think that's where they keep where it. Where Ben Stiller is night guard. 
Oh shit, it's a crossover film. <laughs> a crossover episode. Yes. Robin Williams is still Teddy Roosevelt. And alive. And alive. No, he's CGI. They did it with Princess Leia. Yeah, they did. I've forgotten her name. That's bad, isn't it? We were just talking about her. Yeah. I don't know what her name is. It's literally gone from my mind. Rip, basically. Rip. It's basically Rip. Yeah. Um, Carrie. Fisher. Fisher. Nice one. Um, okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. They break into the museum. Yep. They steal the emerald. They do. Um, they, where are they taking it? Uh, are they selling it or are they keeping it? They're se- are they selling it? They're selling it. No. They want to put it in a museum because <laughs> it's Indiana Jones. It's the, it was in the wrong museum. I know they've stolen it from a museum. They want to put it back in the right museum. Okay. Where it belongs. Right. Where it was taken from. Because it was repatriated by the Americans and taken to the National Museum. When actually, it's from Djibouti. (laughs) From fucking where? Djibouti. (laughs) It was from Djibouti. (laughs) I'm far too delirious to be dealing with that. They return the emerald to Djibouti. The Wakandans are there. What? Just, just standing. Just there. <laughs> and they're like, okay. That's setting up for the next film. You're setting up for the sequel. Yeah. What's the sequel called? Emerald Panther. <laughs> that came to you very quickly. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I've actually been writing a book about this. Yeah? Yeah. The, in the Emerald City, where the Wizard of Oz lives. So this is a six-part... Six-part crossover, yes. Six-part crossover. Yes, it's yes, ambitious. Yes. Everyone will be on board. Don't worry about no, it. Now, now our listeners are waiting. Tell us this M. Night Shyamalan twist you had planned. Oh, Christ. Okay. The twist was... She wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> she wakes up. Yes. yes. And... You know this, yes. Yes. And she's, she's Rebel, Rebel Wilson. Wilson. It was all a dream. It was all just It was all dream. another Rebel Wilson pesky dream. <laughs> God. And really, she, she just needs to, you know, cut out the drugs. Rebel, <laughs> Rebel, cut out the drugs. Your dreams are getting out of hand. Yeah, they are getting out. But they are great for Hollywood, so thank you. Yeah, thank you I mean, from all of us. They us with content. Thank you from all of us. Oh, we forgot, we forgot to see. <laughs> <laughs> there we go.